and welcome to today's edition of Read Me a Story. Miss Fran here from the Brandon Township Public Library. And I have my friend, Daisy the Duck, say hello. Quack, quack, quack. She says hello. She gets to help with a song later on in our story time today. I have some really fun duck books that you will just love. I have Duckling Playtime, Cheer Up Little Duck, Snappy Farmyard. I know how all of you children love pop-up books, so I definitely have some fun pop-up books to read. And The Very Funny Farm. All right, well, I'm going to put Daisy down now, and you be a good listener. And I'm sure all of you out there will be good listeners, too. All right, first of all, can everyone shake out their hands? Shake, 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 shake. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. Yay! Open, shut them. Open, shut them, put them in your lap. Okay, get ready to creep them up to your chin. Are you ready? Creep them, creep them up to your chin. Open your mouth, ah, but don't let them in. You didn't let them in, did you? Oh my goodness. And the other one goes like this. My hands can go clap, clap, clap. My fingers can go tap, tap, tap. My hands can go round and round. Then I lay them down. Now we're ready for our first story. My first story is called Duckling's Playtime. And look, she's got a nice soft wing there. Little ducklings come to play in the morning every day. Ducklings swim around the lake, quack, quack, quacking. They give their wings a flap and shake. Can you give your wings a flap and shake, quack, quack, quack? A game of tag, some hide and seek. Count to ten, watch out, don't peek. Look at, they're playing hide and go seek. Playtime's over, time to rest. Someone's waiting in the nest. Who could that be? Mama Duck, give each a hug with her wings so warm and snug. Well, that was my first story. And now let's read another fun duck story. My next story is about friends who want to try to cheer up Little Duck, and it's a touch and play book by Caroline Joyce Church. Poor Little Duck, she's feeling sad. Her friends decide to try and cheer her up. Cheer up, Little Duck, says Mouse. Here's a present for you. Oh, thank you for the pretty flower, says Little Duck. But that's not what I need. Aw, poor duck. A game of catch will cheer you up, says Pig. Thank you for playing with me, says Little Duck. But that isn't what I need. And watch, you can pull this tab. Oh, and who's hiding behind there? It's a little worm. Hi, worm. And then you slide it back in. It covers it up. And let's try that again. Are you ready? Let's see if you can see the worm. Oh, there he is, peekaboo. Did that cheer duck up? No, that's not what he needed. This will make you smile, says Lamb. It's your favorite color. Oh. Thank you for the red balloon, says Little Duck. But that isn't what I need. Aw, I wonder what Duck needs. When she goes inside, Little Duck hears a knock on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Another friend is here to cheer her up. Thank you for the yummy cake. 
says cat says little duck but that isn't what I need my special chocolate milkshake is what you need says cow moo little duck drinks it all okay watch this and she's gonna she's gonna drink it <gasps> boom and who's hiding behind the chocolate milk it's mouse squeak 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 thank you for the milkshake but that isn't what I need. Let's try that again. Where's the mouse? You ready? He's going to drink the chocolate milk. <gasps> Boop! There's the mouse. Squeak, squeak, squeak. But that's not what Duck needed. Little Duck's friends are worried. They have an idea. <gasps> what Little Duck needs, they say is a great big hug and a tummy tickle too. Thank you everyone, says Little Duck. This, that is what I need. She loves hugs and Miss Fran loves hugs too. All the great hugs I get from all of you children really makes my day. So the next time you see someone, be sure to ask. But if you see someone that looks a little sad, you might want to say, would you like a hug? And give them a great big hug. And I bet they'll have a big smile on their face. So that was Cheer Up, Little Duck. Driving with kids is a big responsibility. Hop in and buckle up. So don't sweat the small stuff. You got paint all over our paper. <laughs> Get the big stuff right instead. What does that mean? Like making sure your kids are in the correct car seat and buckled up for safer travel. That deserves a wiggly wiggly wig. To make sure your child is in the right seat for their age and size, visit NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Beep, beep. Medicaid and CHIP offer free or low-cost health coverage for kids and teens. These programs cover doctor's appointments, hospital visits, prescriptions, shots, and more. As parents, we get peace of mind knowing that our children are covered if they are sick or get injured. You may now be eligible for Medicaid, too, even if you've applied in the past. Enrollment is always open. Visit insurekidsnow.gov or call 1-877-KIDS-NOW. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Well, I think we're going to sing a duck song now. And my duck, just this is her favorite song. Can you help me sing a song about five little ducks went out to play? All right, duck, you listen and you can sing along. Five little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away. Mother duck says quack, quack, quack. Four little ducks came running back. Four little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away. Mother duck says quack, quack, quack. Three little ducks came running back. Three little ducks went out to play 
Over the hill and far away, Mother Duck says quack, quack, quack. Two little ducks came running back. Two little ducks went out to play. Over the hill and far away, Mother Duck says quack, quack, quack. One little duck came running back. One little duck went out to play. Over the hill and far away, Mother Duck says quack, quack, quack. No little ducks came running back. But Father Duck said, put your arms together, are you ready? Quack, quack, quack. Five little ducks came running back. Good job, friends. <laughs> All right, are you ready for another super fun duck story? I sure am. My next story is a fun pop-up book, and it is called Snappy Little Farmyard. There's lots of ducks in a farm. The sun pops up on noisy farm. The rooster pops up too. He wakes up all the animals with a cock-a-doodle-doo. Everyone's awake now and there's so much to do. First, the cows need milking. Moo, moo, moo. The horse is very hungry. Is breakfast on the way? Come on, he calls to the farmer. Nay, nay, nay. The sheep are in the meadow, skipping so la di da. They greet the morning sun with a ba, ba, ba. Piggy needs a cleaning. She's such a sloppy sort. She likes to roll in the mud all day. Snort, snort, snort. It's time for lunch on Noisy Farm. The ducks all want a snack. They look for food down at the pond. And what do ducks say? Quack, quack, quack. The goat is so hungry that he's found some clothes to eat. Are you supposed to eat clothes? No. But he wants more than socks and towels. Bleat, bleat, bleat. Cat is very sleepy. Ah, it's past her nap time now. She's much too tired to chase the mice. Meow, meow, meow. Dog wants a bone for dinner before it gets too dark. He waits beside the farmhouse door and goes bark, bark, bark. Noisy farm is quiet now. The moon is shining bright. The farmer whispers round the farm. Good night, good night, good night. Shh. And that was Snappy Little Farmyard. The that's time with Josiah.
Well, I have another fun pop-up book for you today, and it is called The Very Funny Farm by Jack Tickle. Lots of farmyard animals are hiding in this book, waiting to pop out at you. So come and take a look. And look at that's a rooster. What's a rooster say? Cock-a-doodle-doo! Rooster loves the morning when the day is bright and new. He hops onto the gate and shouts out, can you help me? Pig is rolling in the mud. She's having such a giggle. Watch her muddy piglets play. They love to squelch and wriggle. Oink, 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 splash. Donkey is a funny chap. His ears are really long. He munches on a thistle and sings his happy hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw song. Hee-haw. You see his tongue? Watch his tongue. It goes in and then it goes out when he says hee-haw. He's a cute little donkey, isn't he? Sheep lives in the meadow. Her lambs skip to and fro. The smallest one jumps up for joy and bleats a loud hello. Ba, ba, ba. Moo. Cow grazes in the flower bed. She munches and she chews. Then sticking out her long pink tongue, she bobs her head and moos. Moo, moo, moo. Sheepdog leans up on the fence and gives a friendly bark. Roof. He watches over all his friends as the farm grows dark. Woof, woof. And the little chicks are saying, tweet, 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 tweet. Stars shine down upon the farm. So wish your friends good night. In barns and fields, they close their eyes and curl up, cuddle tight. Roof, roof, good night. And that was the very funny farm.
Natalie Moser. I'm a volunteer here at Canine Star Rescue League. And this wiggle monster is Tag. Tag is about six months old. She's about 34 pounds. Tag has quite a bit of energy. Um, she would be a great running partner. She loves to be outside. Um, she does really great at events. We took her to Petco this last weekend and she did fantastic. Even though she has a lot of energy, she was not super jumpy. She learned to sit for pets very really quickly. So she's very highly trainable. She is fun spirited. She loves to be around her people. She loves to play, um, to chew. She still has those puppy teeth that like to chew on things. So you'll need to have a bone or something for her to chew. She needs a leader to help um, guide that energy into something very positive. Um, and then we ask that kids be over 13. She did display a little bit of resource guarding, so we want to make sure that the family would be safe and that the adopters can work with her through that and manage that. Um, being so young and highly trainable with consistency, um, we believe that that will improve. Tag will also need some manners work. While we were in the kitchen in the house at the kennel, she did jump up onto the table. So she just doesn't understand boundaries when she's inside the house. Outside, she loves to run and play. Um, she doesn't have any fears of jumping onto anything. Um, so she could be a very athletic dog. She can have a lot of energy, but she does calm down nicely. After she has her exercise, she can um, kind of calm and uh, chill out and hang out with you. She is still a puppy, so she needs a lot of redirection and a lot of bone chewing time. Um, so she doesn't sit still for super long, but if she has something to do, something active, if her brain has been active, uh, has been active throughout the day with training, she's going to settle down very nicely for you. She'd be a great dog to take to places. She's very sweet with other dogs. She um, had no problems when we were at Petco with any of the dogs, no growls. She just wanted to play with everyone. She is a strong leash puller, so she'll need some training on leash, uh, leash work. A great a puppy class would be really great for her to learn some of those manners. If you're interested in TAG or any of our other adoptable dogs, visit caninestray.com and fill out an application or come by during our open business hours. Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Welcome to Oxford Community Television. We are proud that our four communities continue to choose local programming, local news, sports, community issues, familiar faces, celebrations, and commitment to each other. Welcome to Oxford Community Television. library friends and welcome back. This week is very exciting. Tomorrow is the first day, April 7th, of National Library Week and it runs through April 13th. Libraries are the best places that you can go and visit. Your library card that's good at Oxford Library is also good at Brandon Library and it's good at a lot of other libraries. So be sure to support your local libraries. Come on and visit us. All the librarians all over Oakland County would love to see you. And I am super excited about the sharing that all libraries do. My animals are very excited too. And they said, Miss Fran, you forgot about us. Let's sing one more song. 
I'm sure everyone knows Old MacDonald had a farm. Of course, my duck has to be included in the song. And my other animals that I'll use, we're going to have a horse on our farm, a cow, and a lamb. So can everyone help me? We'll start with the duck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O. With a quack quack here and a quack quack there. Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a horse. E-I-E-I-O, with a nay-nay here and a nay-nay there, here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay-nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo, moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a lamb, E-I-E-I-O. With a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there. Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba-ba. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Well, thank you for joining us today, and thank you for being part of Read Us a Story, Read Me a Story. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.